Hey Luke here again with you and a quick video today for where you can position your feet on a strapless kite surfing board. We're going to go through where I like to position my feet for when I'm just riding along, for where I, when I'm surfing a wave and when I'm about to do a jump or a trick. So let's get into it. So the first position for just riding along the wind, so this is just tacking across the wind, that direction or that direction. What I like to do is with a directional board, of course, we always have our feet towards the tail. So we're always sort of riding towards the tail, always having my, my feet sort of a little wider than the shoulder width apart. But when I'm tacking across the wind, I like to shift my weight more into the middle of the board. So this back foot comes forward off the tail and at the same time I move it closer to the back rail. So you can see instead of having your foot in the middle of the board, you move it back. That'll do a couple of things. It helps you lean into the rail so it's more comfortable like that because it will drive that rail into the water and moving your foot forward it also helps I find to tack up wind you can you can center your weight more lean into it and sort of push out with that back foot but at the same time you're not lifting the nose of the board up so the nose of the board's not flapping around by moving your weight forward but you can lean into it and really drive up wind. So the second position is for when I'm about to do a jump a strapless jump and what I do then is I keep my front foot in about the same position it was when I was just riding. I'm riding along, front foot's already there, my back foot's come forward like this, I'm riding along, but then I center them in the center of the board. So you can see from side to side, they move into the center of the board. You'll still be sort of leaning into the rail, so the board will still be on rail, but you want to be in the center so that you can land your jump in the center or you can turn onto your toe side or, or whatever. At the same time, I move my foot, kick your back foot, all the way into the tail pad. By kicking your back foot into the tail pad, what that will do is allow more movement with the board. So you'll have more control on where you're going to put the nose of the board or, or if you're going to turn or, for this instance, we're going to load and pop. So in order to jump, if you kick that, if that back foot back, what will happen is you'll be able to pop it up into the sky better and that will you know, essentially make it more controlled on your takeoffs. Third and final full position is for when I'm riding a wave. So riding a wave is very similar to doing a jump, except what I do is shorten my stance. So foot comes right back into the tail pad and then front foot, just to shorten your stance ever so slightly, just a bit wider than your shoulders. When you're doing a jump, sometimes it's good to sort of widen your stance like this so you've got more control in the air. But for riding waves, you bring it back to that comfortable stance a little bit wider than your shoulders. And again, in the center of the board, So because when you're riding a wave, you're really going rail to rail. So you're on your heels and then down onto your toes and then back onto your heels for all of your turns. And so you want to be sort of centered, but at the same time, foot right back into the tail so that you've got more control for doing those turns uh, all the way through, you know, both bottom turns and top turns. Just a couple of little tips there for where you can position your feet while riding. Hopefully that helps. Luke here again with you. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in coming videos.